So this is the new Squall i3 with built-in LEDs. So we've got lights at the front on the chin bar and the and the near the top vent, and we've got a light on the back. Obviously, the lights on the front are white, and the light on the back is red. It also has the built-in brake light, um, which doesn't connect to anything. You don't have to connect it to your bike in any way, shape, or form. It just senses when you're braking and it flashes. One of my colleagues is, was behind me a minute ago and uh, every time I braked, sure enough, the helmet uh, lit up, the brake light lit up in the back of the helmet, which is a really good feature. The sun visor is superb. It uh, completely covers uh, the area you need it to. The main visor is nice and big and the pin lock works really well as well. I know there's different qualities of pin lock, but this one is good. Obviously I'm breathing through my mouth at the moment while I'm talking and there's no fogging at all. So yeah, it definitely gets a thumbs up. The fit's really comfortable, nice and solid. Um, we've got a camera mounted to the side. We've got intercoms mounted. The Drift XL Pro camera that we've got mounted to it is absolutely superb the quality is fantastic it's very stable we've got the uh, internal mic plugged into it considering it's really windy today so the wind noise on the helmet hitting the helmet is pretty bad but when I played back this morning some footage you couldn't hear that at all so really happy with the quality of the, the sound on it as I say the video stabilizing means that it's not juddery if you plug the internal mic in you get rid of all the wind noise that the camera would pick up from the outside so really happy with it both helmet and the camera are available in all the GNS stores so uh, you can purchase them from any of the stores and uh, yeah enjoy start making yourself some videos record your rides and uh, basically enjoy yourself so uh, that's me done I'm nearly home we're gonna pass it on to a few other members of staff to try but I definitely give it a thumbs up. Yeah, I couldn't be happier with it. And the camera, again, we're going to give to some of the other members. I'm not getting any buffeting off the bike. I'm currently on a, a 650 Bandit, 2010 650 Bandit with a little screen on the front. And uh, I'm not getting any buffeting off the screen. The helmet's so stable. It's unbelievable. So, yeah, really pleased. So that's me done. Over and out. Hi, hi everyone, I'm Alan from Genesis Motorcycles and today we're going to be reviewing Shark's new i3 helmet with an integrated brake light and the integrated LED lights as well for better visibility in the dark. Right, so straight off, uh, my, some of my colleagues have been testing the helmet as well. Uh, I know my colleague Adrian is trying to try it out in the rain to see how good the seal actually is on the helmet. So, it's raining today and I've got the helmet. So, we're going to see how good the seal works in the rain and keeping the water out from the visor area. Reviewing this helmet on a uh, Yamaha MT-10 SP. So, completely different to what um, Adrian's been trying it on. Adrian's been trying it on on a uh, Bandit, a Suzuki Bandit. So yeah, just try it on on different bikes, just having a look, see uh, what it's like on various bikes basically. I must say straight off, I mean I wear a lot of race helmets, uh, so they're not always very comfortable, but this, I must admit, cheek pads fit true to size as well, I wear mediums uh, in all my helmets, this is a medium, fits perfect, cheek pads feel lovely as well, helmet fits great. We've got the, uh, the Drift XL Pro given to us to uh, test this helmet out, obviously to give you nice footage of our rides and our thoughts on the helmet. But yeah, I mean, I've never really owned a Shark helmet before. Uh, so first one I've ever really worn on any bike. Uh, first impression, so far so good. You know, some helmets, you know, you put on fit is very strange. Cheap pads can feel very different. But this, I mean, perfect. So yeah, like I'm saying, this basically it has an integrated rear brake light. So theoretically, when I hit the brakes, the light should illuminate on the back. 
Also, as I said, you have a built-in LED light as well for better illumination in the dark. You know, a lot of people like that extra illumination and want to be seen. So this has got a built-in LED lights on it. So when you switch it on, technically the LED lights switch on as well. Must admit as well, the ratchet system for this visor is better than some of the older helmets I've ever owned as well. You know, there's positive feedback from that visor when you move it up and down. Perfect air ventilation. I can feel it coming through that bottom front chin vent as well. Straight up to my mouth area and nostril areas. One thing as well I must admit about this helmet is the wind noise is actually quite down to a minimum. I think as, as I explained they use a lot of race helmets. Obviously wind noise on them is, is basically in existence. But when I come into this you know you can noticeably and easily tell the difference between the race helmet and your differentiative uh, of other road helmets. One thing I actually haven't tried with this, this helmet hasn't got a tinted visor and a lot of my other helmets I use a tinted visor so I must admit I've missed that. As soon as we got this helmet I was like where's the tinted visor please? Fortunately no, they were like yeah when you got a clear visor right right okay but I forgot completely all about the um, internal visor but that's what we're using right now. Uh, using the uh, internal sun visor, you know, comes down all the way, so there's not really a gap underneath your eye lines, which so sitting perfectly above my nose, no interference, nothing, and much better. Now I'm even looking at the sun, whereas before I was squinting a bit. Can't remember the last time I used uh, a clear visor, really. <laughs> Frontal ventilation vent is allowing much better airflow through. Going through those lanes, ventilation as expected, very good. You know, something in helmets like this, especially when it starts getting to the warmer days, it's something that a lot of helmets might struggle on. But the shark doesn't disappoint when it comes to that. Uh, just give me final thoughts on the helmet. So first off, it's for what it is and the money. Great helmet. I can't say any bad words about it, you know. One thing like I said I've never used before is an internal sun visor. None of my helmets in the past ever had one of these. Now I can see why a lot of customers come into me and say, oh, I love one of them. I see what people mean, especially if you run clear visors. But yeah, all in all, amazing helmet, great helmet for its money. If you're on a bit of a tight budget, looking for a great lid, this is one perfectly you should be looking for. Especially if you have to more visibility on your helmet, this is the one to get. Right, thank you very much. Bye bye. Right, so Jess is wearing the Shark Squall I3. Just going to give it a little bit of a run out. Got the light flashing at the minute. Missed a little function with these, so because it's flashing now, Jess starts to break. It flashes so that it's like a, a third brake light, or well, in case of bike, second brake lights. Really visible. It's getting a little bit dark. It's about 20 past eight now. What do you feel like at the minute, Jeff? Yeah, it feels all right at the minute. Um, it's easy to get my glasses on, which is handy for me. It's nice and lightweight. It's comfortable. All good up to now. So I can clearly right. see that that is flashing away. I mean, flash mode. Got uh, a few different modes. So it's got the flashing mode, uh, it's got the steady on mode, and it's just got the brake light mode. So which means that the, the lights will be off, but then when you start slowing down, the brake light will flash uh, when it detects your uh, losing speed or braking heavily. You brake heavily, it will uh, it'll flash a little bit faster, basically. I'm uh, 50 at the minute, and I can hear everything clearly, not no complaints with wind noise at the minute. The wind noise is fine, it's not bothering me at all. Whenever I'm turning my head, the water's easily just speeding away. Um, it's not affecting my visibility at all. It just seems like it's dispersing away, nice and easy. So we're up to a little bit, a little bit more speed at the minute. What's the wind noise like now, and the stability of the helmet? is fine, um, it's a little bit of wind noise but it's not to be expected when you're going about 70 mile an hour. I wouldn't say it's loud at all, it's nice and quiet for a helmet. So thumbs up at the minute then? Yeah. <laughs>
the brake light's flashing perfectly as it should do. It, it's great to look at. Uh, it's a nice coloured helmet. Same colour as your bike. You've got the MT07 in the cyan blue. Um, so yeah. it matches uh, quite well, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a nice colour. I like the colour. Yeah, it's quite similar to the Audi Nardo grey things that they do in the cars, which has seemed to be a quite a popular colour over the last couple of years. Um, you will be able to find different colours available uh, at JNS, but this certainly being a personal favourite of mine. Let's see if we can change the mode on it ever so slightly. So you've got your dying easy gloves on and they're thick Gore-Tex gloves. Yep. Are you able to change the mode on it? Find that button. So there we go. So that's... Go. So there's the light on. So there's yep. constant steady mode. Just giving you a lot more uh, visibility. That bit on was nice and easy to find as well. I have got my thick Gore-Tex gloves on, um, but... Um... Easy to find. Thumbs up for functionality then. Yeah. Thumbs up. Do you feel cold at all in the helmet? No, I have got one of the vents open at the minute and it is quite cold outside, but my face isn't cold. Like you said before, I'm used to be pista, which my face is freezing when I'm in that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just nice and warm. My face feels really warm compared to that, to be fair. So it's, it's, it's a nice change for once. Yeah, for once. <laughs> How's the pin lock holding up as well? Um, yeah. So there's a max, max vision pin lock in these, so it's embedded into the visor, so it gives you max field of vision. So what, what's it like? Does it, it look all right? Yeah, everything looks fine. It feels like I've got a bit like a wide field of vision with it. Good. That, that's another thing as well. What's your field of vision like? You can look over your shoulders quite easily. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I can see everything if I look over my shoulder. I can I'm, I'm, really see. I'm tapping the right hand lane at the minute. You can see me quite easily. I can see you there. There we have it. The uh, Shark Squall i3 with the lights flashing away there. So for us, I think it's a, uh, a thumbs up so far. So uh, thumbs up. brilliant. See you in the next one.